All right, we have some new data that was released this week from the Pew Research Center, and it indicates the number of Americans who do not identify with any religion fell three points last week. Uh, it fell from 31 to 28 percent. Now, these individuals are described as religious nuns. That's N-O-N-E-S, uh, that their religious affiliation is none. Uh, and they comprise a pretty large group of Americans, uh, and more than two-thirds of these individuals still believe in the biblical God or some form of a higher po power. Well, join me now to break all this down and share with us this data is the vice president of the Pew Research Center, Neha Segal. Neha, thank you for joining us on Washington Watch. Great to have you. Pleasure to be here. All right, so the percentage of Americans who say that they don't identify with any religion fell three points in 2023. Uh, what can our audience, primarily Christian audience, what do we take away from that? I would encourage our audience to take a look at the long-term trend on this, uh, and not necessarily the year-by-year -year ups and downs. Uh, if I can draw an analogy, it's survey research is uh, is taking a measurement not that different from when you weigh yourself every day in the morning, right? And some days you might see your weight is up by a couple points, and a couple, and then a day later it's down by a couple points. So the day-by-day -day measurement is not as important as the long-term trend, which will tell you if you're gaining weight or losing weight or staying the same. So the same thing applies here. Over the course of the last 15 years, we at the Pew Research Center have seen a dramatic rise in the share of Americans who describe themselves as either atheist, agnostic, or having no particular religion. Now, in the last so three to five years or so, we're starting to see that share of the population stabilize. Roughly 28%, and the measurement we did before that was 31%. Could it be, as you're asking, that the share is now starting to decline or is starting to stabilize? We're gonna need data for future years to say that definitively, just as you would need more data to know if your weight is stabilizing. Okay, so we're somewhere in the ballpark of 28 to 30 percent of Americans who have no religious affiliation at all. Of that 30 percent, whatever it may be, 17 percent of them, as I understand from your report, are atheist. Uh, 20 percent or so are agnostic. But the remaining 63 percent, uh, tell us a little bit more about them. Yeah, so this is a group, uh, it's, you know, like you're saying, it's a big group, 63%. Uh, they are saying that they have no particular religion, right? As opposed to the other two who say they're either atheist or that they are agnostic. We find that this particular group, this nothing in particular group, is quite distinctive from the atheists and the agnostics. For one thing, uh, they are less well educated. Atheists and agnostics tend to be a bit higher educated than I would say the average American. Uh, not, that's not true for people who are nothing in particular. The other thing we notice about the people uh, in this group is they are less civically engaged. They are less likely to vote. They are less likely to be satisfied with their communities. Very interesting, but on the religious side of things, if we can put it that way, uh, I'm assuming uh, these folks, is 63% of the 30%, they have some belief in God, a higher power, whatever uh, they may uh, refer to it as, but they have some spiritual foundation, some spiritual beliefs, is that correct? That is absolutely correct. And I think you, you've uh, kind of hit the nail on the head there. I think it would be not uh, correct as per the data to call the religious nuns and uh, non-believers or people who are against religion. That's actually not what we find. We actually find that the majority of this group does say that they believe in God. Now, they may not necessarily believe in God as described in the Bible. Right? A very small share of religious nuns do, most of them actually tell us that they believe in some form of higher power. So what we could say is these people tend to show beliefs that are maybe less traditional than, than what we would uh, normally expect in the, in the population of people who describe themselves uh, as Christians. About half of uh, people who describe themselves as religious nuns do say they are spiritual. 
right? Uh, that's definitely not everybody, but it's also not nothing, right? So I think what, what we can take away from this is rejecting religion does not necessarily mean rejecting all kinds of belief that we would associate uh, with religion or spirituality. So in this case, what these people basically have done, uh, as I understand it, is they, they still have a spiritual religious foundation, whatever that may be, but they have walked away from the church or whatever other religious group. Yeah, you can see that. You can, all, you can see that they don't attend religious services. I mean, that 90% of them are saying they seldom attend religious services or they never uh, go to a church, right? So, uh, you know, these people have distinguished themselves in some way, right? Um, and that appears to be that they have rejected kind of traditional beliefs. They don't believe in God as described in the Bible and they do not attend religious services. Okay, Neha, last question here for you. You mentioned that this somehow uh, may, and I want to just real quickly get into this, reflect a broader decline in civic engagement. Is there a relationship here? I think there is. You know, people will often ask me, why is it that uh, a growing share of Americans say they have no religion. Uh, and what I would suggest to you all is that, I mean, this is part of a larger trend in American society where people seem to be opting out of civic engagement or engaging with traditional institutions. Uh, at the Pew Research Center, we have found that fewer people say that they're, they're following the news closely. We know that Americans are volunteering less than they used to. So it could be part of a larger trend with Americans kind of disengaging or disaffiliating uh, from civic life or, uh, you know, or civic institutions uh, or traditional institutions. Thank you same, so much, Neha Sayal, with the Pew Research Center. We really appreciate this information and for you taking time to join us here on Washington Watch.